Hello everyone, this is Tina. How are you doing? This is gonna be my last video of today. And uh, still talking about uh, complex mapping. And the last video I discussed about uh, composite primary key. And in this video, we're gonna talk about a complete foreign, it's a foreigner or foreign key. I think it's a foreign key, not a nerd. Okay, so let's give one example. We're gonna create a uh, based on this one. Okay, uh, this one, this one. Continue on this one. Suppose now person has the address. Okay, let's give an address class. Address. Okay, and uh, here we're using entity, and uh, here we will have uh, what's the private uh, I along id and uh, have an id here and we're using auto generate okay and uh, we also have a private string street uh, private string zip code okay and uh, suppose a person can have many address and address also belongs to a person which is a bi-directional relationship okay so now how to do here in the person we will do is have a private private collection of address okay and here have address uh, addresses okay i don't like to using address list and uh, here we're using one too many right one too many and uh, because it's bi-directional here we have a private person and a person okay so in the person we have to using mapped by and mapped by refer to where this one so we give up a relationship on our person so there's no join table created so we have to have a join column and here is many to one so now problem comes Previously, when we using many to one map to join column, the join column is uh, only one join column, one column. It only refer to the person's primary key. But in this case, for the person's primary key, yes, a composite primary key. So how should I map? How, what, what kind of columns should I put it here to make sure it is uh, mapped to this uh, embeddable primary key or oh, also embeddable class which hold the two primary key how to do that in order to do that we using join columns this join columns happens is before Java 8 Java 8 or Java, yes, Java 8. Before Java 8, one annotation cannot be applied in one field or one class or one method more than once. That's why uh, before Java 8, we more, uh, when we want to apply the same uh, annotation multiple times, we will have another wrapper annotation called the join columns, this case. But after Java 8, one annotation can apply in one field method class multiple times so here we don't have change and in the join column we will have two join column to specify the diff the two uh, the composite primary key join column and the first one yes you give a name okay what's the name you want to be displayed on as the join column foreign key the first one okay we're using person first name and here you have to using a reference column name this one is to reference what this one is to reference in the person class name this foreign this primary key and this column first name okay and we can have another one just a copy paste and here the second column is the last name 
And what this column refer to? It's gonna refer to this one, right? Okay, so that's it for the composite foreign key. Okay, and uh, in the address, it will see two column, person first name, person last name. Both of them become a composite foreign key refer to this uh, person, okay? And uh, let's run again and to see the uh, table generated, okay? okay. And uh, let me see if I can do the same thing. Yo. Okay, here and here, okay, good. Hasn't finish. Ah, oh, uh, this one is uh, the 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 error I haven't removed. You know the this one. A previous demo. Uh, here. Okay, I didn't remove because I have two entity. Now I removed it, so no no problem now. Okay, but anyway, it should uh, generate tables uh, successfully. So I have a person, right, and I have address. Okay, see here. In the address, we have uh, two extra column act as the foreign key. And we can go to the address to see this uh, structure of the table. Uh, oh, oh it, didn't, it didn't show. It didn't show here is the uh, foreign, uh, foreign key. Okay. It didn't say anything. Oh, oh foreign key. Uh, foreign key. Okay. Oh, uh, here, here the foreign key. This one doesn't work because my SQL Workbench can only show the foreign foreign key here. Foreign, foreigner, foreign key using InnoDB this uh, engine. But here mine is uh, my uh, my ISM, so it doesn't show here. Let's see if I can see here. It doesn't show anyway, but you got the idea, right? You got the idea. Here we have two extra columns, which is act as a foreign key for the uh, what's the thing? The 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 address on the address to refer to the person, which person owns this address. And uh, if you want, we can do one thing. Yes, here. Uh, public void add address. Which is the convenience method, okay? Address ADDR. Okay. Uh, we will are using here. We will create a new new array list, okay? We will save address, okay? Here, we will do is uh, what thing? Mm, what the thing should I say? Uh, address addresses dot add address, okay? DDR here and also address dot set person. Do I have set person? Oh, I don't have setters. Let me using setter and getter, okay? Uh, getter and here in the person I using address dot set person and using this. Why do we do like this one? Why do we do like this one? Because this is a bi directional relationship. We have to do what? We have to maintain bidirectional relationship. If we don't have this one, it only knows the person has address, but the address doesn't know about the person, right? Okay, maintain this one. And now I have to add a cascade here. Mm, cascade type we're using persist since we are using save, okay? So now I will do is uh, in the app man, I will create a new address. Do I have, uh, uh, I don't have the customized uh, constructor. Let me add one, okay? Street, street and uh, zip code, okay? So address, address equals new address, okay? And I give a street 1000 North 4th Street. And the zip code is five five two five five six. Okay, and uh, we um, we are using p dot set. Uh, sorry, not a set. Add address. Okay, and give this address. If we want to add one more, we can add one more. Okay. Uh, 
address two, address two, okay? And then this one we're using 1001, and this one using one, okay? And we persist this person after we set the address, okay? So in this case, when we save the person, we also save the address, right? Because I have a cascade type here. Cascade persist here, okay? So now let's run and see what's gonna be stored in the database. Uh, when we see those inserts, it means everything is 99% is correct. Okay, so let me close all the tables here, uh, all the queries here and refresh. And we will go to the address first. Uh, let's go to the first undynamator person. And we only has one person here, Tina, XNG, and the birth date, right? And when we go to the address, since we are having, when we have the one too many relationship here, we are using join column. And join column can only be stored in the address, okay? Let's take a look at the address. Yes, perfect, right? Here, address, we have two address created, uh, two. And uh, uh, for the foreign key, in this case, we have to have two columns refer to this uh, Tinax ing as the primary key, right? So save the uh, successfully, okay? So uh, in, that's it for this video. We talk about uh, how to uh, have a complex mapping when we have a composite foreign key, okay? So if you have any question, leave a comment. And uh, thank you for watching. Good night. See you. Bye-bye.